Hello everyone and welcome to the Craig and Dave channel with me, David Morgan. Now today we're diving into a topic that's hit close to home for many of us. The world of online ticket sales. Now whether you're a fan of concerts, sports or theatre, you've probably felt the sting of overpriced tickets or the frustration of not being able to get your hands on one. But why does this happen? And are we being ripped off? Let's explore. In our very online world, buying tickets online never seems like a shock. But what is a shock are the fees that they add on top for simply being able to buy your tickets online. Aside from that, there's the secondary market. You know, those resale platforms where tickets seem to cost an absolute arm and leg. It's like you're paying for a VIP experience just to sit in the nosebleeds. Now, this happens because of something called demand-driven pricing. Essentially, when lots of people want tickets and there aren't enough to go around, prices shoot up. Nan! Nan! Nan, stop refreshing your browser, you're driving the ticket price up! Honestly, all she wants to do is watch Megan the Stallion. Hey, it's simple economics, but for fans, it's an absolute nightmare. Now, some countries have tried to tackle this issue. For example, in Germany and Ireland, there are laws that cap the resale price of tickets, usually to around 25% above their original price. Now, this helps keep things fairer for fans, but in places like the US and the UK, there are often no such regulations, meaning prices can skyrocket to whatever people are willing to pay. Now, we all saw this during Taylor Swift's Eras tour, and if you were a Swifty, many people were spending upwards of many thousands of pounds for a ticket on the resale market. But the worst part is that it becomes very difficult to buy a ticket in the first place because scalpers and bots are purchasing all the tickets because they know resale is going to be very profitable. Here's a crazy but true example. Some fans have found it cheaper to travel internationally to see their favourite artists rather than buy their tickets in their home country. Imagine flying from the US to Europe, not for a holiday, but because it's more affordable to see Taylor Swift. This isn't just an isolated incident, it highlights a bigger issue with how tickets are priced in different regions. It's almost like a global game of musical cheers, and we're all scrambling to find a seat. Now, let's bring in the big players like Ticketmaster. These companies are often at the centre of the storm when it comes to ticket pricing. They handle the initial sale of tickets and, in many cases, also run resale platforms. This dual role can sometimes lead to practices that fans find frustrating, like dynamic pricing. Now, if you're not familiar, dynamic pricing is where ticket prices fluctuate based on demand. So, if a lot of people are trying to buy tickets at the same time, prices can go up in real time. It's a bit like a roller coaster ride, but instead of thrills, you get chills when you see the final bank balance. Another gripe is service fees. You've probably noticed that when you finally get to the point where you can check out, the price isn't quite what you expected. That's because of additional fees that can sometimes be quite hefty. It feels like you're being charged for the privilege of spending your hard-earned cash. But don't despair, because technology might just save the day. Some companies are using AI and blockchain to fight ticket fraud and scalping. AI can spot unusual purchasing patterns, like someone buying a suspiciously large number of tickets, which can be a sign of scalping. Meanwhile, blockchain can help ensure that each ticket is unique and can't be duplicated. This means fewer fake tickets floating around, which is great news for genuine fans. The future of ticketing might be even more tech-driven. We're talking about more secure digital tickets, maybe even linked to your biometric data, to ensure that only you can use them. There's also talk of using AI to personalise marketing for concerts and events. Imagine getting recommendations for events that you might like based on your musical streaming habits or social media activity. It's like having a personal concert concierge. Oh, Craig and Dave are in concert, live. I wonder what genre of music they play. And let's not forget the potential for AI in creating unique experiences. Have you heard about new AI-powered hologram concerts? It's like seeing an artist live, but a hologram, it sounds like science fiction, but it's actually happening. So, are online ticket sales a ripoff? It's complicated as ever. There are definitely issues with high prices and accessibility, but there are also legitimate reasons for some of these practices. What we can hope for is better regulation and more transparency in the industry. With the help of technology, there's a chance to make the ticket buying process fairer and more accessible for everyone. To summarize, Online ticket sales often lead to inflated prices, especially on the secondary markets where demand-driven pricing can cause costs to soar, with countries like the US and the UK lacking any regulation. Major ticketing companies like Ticketmaster are criticised for practices like dynamic pricing and high service fees, which can make tickets unaffordable for many fans. Technological solutions such as AI and blockchain are being explored to combat issues like ticket fraud and scalping, aiming to ensure fairer access for genuine fans. 
Future innovations may include more secure digital tickets and personalized marketing with the potential advancements like AI-powered hologram concerts offering new experiences for fans. Thanks for tuning in, and if you have any wild ticket buying stories or thoughts on how to improve the system, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We'll see you next time for more tech top tips from the baldest man you know.